Energy Dream League live from DreamHack Summer here in Yunjo Pink. <laughs> bah, that was really painful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, wasn't great. Rip headphone users. Okay, so uh, we just watched ourselves the series Navi versus Burnley United. Very convincing for Navi. Yes. I think uh, I was wrong with my prediction, uh, but I don't know. Was it was for me? It was outplay. Correct. I think it had a lot to do with the supports of Navi. Like when you draft this kind of physical minus armor team and you let them have their with the Riven on Sneeko who just, you know, he runs all over people with that hero. Yeah. Then you have Artstyle on an air checker who played phenomenally on that hero. I don't know, I, I think it had a lot to do with the draft and how the supports played as well. Like they played phenomenally. The mid game definitely looked a lot, very shaky for mm. uh, Navi. Yeah, definitely. And again, I, I felt like if. It wasn't Navi playing that draft, it was a different team. They, the other team would have just lost. I think Burning United had a great chance of winning the game, but Navi being Navi pulled it out. All right. So halfway through last game, the, the last game, the second game in the series, uh, you actually said, and Andy as well, like right now, based on graphs, yeah. it should actually be Burden that's ahead. Yeah. But they were not. Yeah, so what went wrong? To quote, Cindering, because he's supposed to give this endgame analysis. He had a <laughs> lot of very meaningful things to say. Did he give you the list? Yeah. Okay. So what I've heard, what I've heard walking back on the stage was that was a really clowny game. He said that a few times. Yes. And okay. then something like eh, was said. <laughs> and that's all I got. So that's the baby rage. Yeah. In case you didn't know. So I think that's something said about it. I apologize not being a suitable replacement for Cinderin. <laughs> But that's all I got. You're doing well, good. If yeah. that's all you said, I mean, you're doing a great yeah, job. Okay. We right. know what you Thank mean. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. So there were quite a, quite a few fights. Well, I shouldn't say fights. I should say skirmishes. Because it was more like pickoffs and skirmishes. And apparently one stood out to Shane, so it's time for the drawing board with Shane Analytics. Come on, Shane. Pull yeah, it together. Yeah, we're good. We're good now. All right. So what we have here is 20 minutes in, and Burden are about to try and take Roshan with their kind of minus armor strap. But Navi are onto their plans. And I think this is one of the points in the game where I was like, you know, if if Burden get this Roshan, all of a sudden it's gonna be it's gonna be tough times. But like, have host in this game with his call downs, and then Dendi with the hook on Neko. Okay. Like, is it look at Bert, uh, look at Paris? He's yeah. gonna jump back in. Yeah. Is that worth it? I think this is miscommunication. They did it a few times where they w like some people would back off and some people would go in. He does get the kill on a Vost, so... I mean, it's, it's still a Vost, so yeah. I guess that's nice, but... I don't know, there was another fight around Roshan as well, where they went in, like, they sent our ulti to escape, and then some people went back in and, you know, you could see there was maybe definitely miscommunication on Burden United. Yeah, I think what happened there were, you were asking, was Centaur jumping in back in worth it? I think they both yeah. wanted to jump back in. Yeah. But the flat cannon canceled uh, Slaughter's play. Yeah, yeah. But it's still, he still uh, crushed and he... No, he crushed the ground. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah and he couldn't <laughs> blink it. In anger, because yeah. he, <laughs> <blink. laughs> he wanted to blink it. Yeah, but normally, like, wouldn't he need to be turning a a wa around way earlier than that? Like, he crushed the ground, I saw that too, as in the ground that wasn't where no other yeah. heroes were standing. <laughs> No, if, if the blink wasn't cancelled and if they both jumped in, I think they actually wipe. Okay. Yes. That's a lot of stun time. I and you're so. right clicking, so. Yeah. So it's, uh, I think, very unfortunate for Burton United. Mm -hmm. Well, we can take a look at the brackets and see what they look like right now to, uh, to know where the teams that we just are going because we're not saying goodbye to anybody yet. And I say yes because uh, we are going to say goodbye to one of the teams that we're going to have upcoming next. But of course, uh, we see Navi, they indeed get their free time, they get their hotel time, and they won't play until tomorrow. They're going to go up against a Virtus Pro tomorrow, and then Birdie United, they have to play again tonight after the next best of three, which is basically unknown versus Ninjas in Pajamas. One of those teams is already going to be having the end of uh, DreamHack Summer. Or they're going to be a spectator for the rest of the event. Might be fun. Might be, I don't know. I'm enjoying myself watching the Dota, so maybe they will too. I know that's the very next set, but I just want to talk about Burden United one, one more okay, thing. Okay, go ahead. Go, go, go. They're playing the first set and then the last set of the day. Yes. That's a long, long day. So, it is. Yes. I mean, they're playing at a very high skill level, but that's still like like physical pressure, mental pressure. That's I'm worried for them. When we were talking to Dendi, he was saying that like, you know, you can go back to the hotel, you can chill out. 
Like, hopefully Britain do the same thing, you know what I mean? Just get that time off, because it's, it's pretty if hectic in here. If you're staying here, yeah. I mean, you're... and. I mean, there's there's no daylight, so there's, there's lots of noise, lots of people. Yeah, like it's you don't get any any rest. Your brain doesn't mm. get any rest. So hopefully they they will indeed take that rest, as yeah. uh, as Denny said, he would have should he have not made it through, which yeah. he did. So uh, good for him. But but indeed, it is time for the next series. So uh, let's uh, see uh, what those two teams bring us. Uh, basically, unknown and ninjas in pajamas. for ninjas in pajamas and basically unknown. What can we expect from these two teams meeting each other? It's a best of three. I expect to see Puck on limp. Okay, not uh, banned out? No, I expect to see Lestrak on either team. Okay. Uh, we saw a Rise played earlier in the day. It looked pretty decent, but it just wasn't enough to kind of get them through. Like the supports on basically unknown, no. Ninjas in pajamas? Yeah, no. Oh, basically unknown. Well, my, my brain you got is it, actually. You got it, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like second guessing myself. Like all the B users, it's getting to me. It's so confusing. It really is. No, they played so amazingly earlier today, but it just wasn't enough. Like so, I think if they pull out a performance like that and their cores kind of match up to it, I reckon they could do an upset. To be honest, at least in one of the games, anyway. But okay. you you would call it an upset, right? If NIP loses this best yeah, of three, so it's I, a big upset. In fact, yeah, yes. I definitely would. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But they have the potential to do it. Yep. What do you think that needs to happen before basically unknown gets an upset, Louis? Um, support is. I, I do want to actually bag and, uh, bandwagon off your support thing. The, the game they lost today, it wasn't because their, their support played poorly. I think it's because they were just poor, like gold wise. Yeah. Because uh, they had a dying and like witch doctor, and like 20 minutes in the game they were just a non-factor. It's not because they're playing poorly, because they had no items. Didn't they have like, disruptor and Urch and ogre? I, I think. Was it Ogre? Yeah, Disruptor yeah. and Ogre, yeah. Okay, maybe okay. I... That was the wrong game I was referring to. <laughs> Sorry. Right. But definitely they need more gold in their support. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I'm not sure if that was just uh, part of their strategic saying, all right, we're going to farm our cores more and sacrifice our supports, or the supports just couldn't get any farm from themselves. But in any case, um, I'm, I'm not sure if Nib is going to get upset, it, though. In front of the home crowd and everything, they're playing really well. They just won X game. How big of an impact do you think home crowd has? Pretty big, I'd say, actually. Like, you know, when something goes wrong in a game, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, God, are we going to lose this? And then the crowd cheers for you when you do this one right thing. All of a sudden, you're like, you're like OK, we can do it. You know what I mean? It definitely has an effect, I think. I think it's really different for team by team. Yeah. I'm sure some teams just feeds off like having to play against the crowd. Yeah. But I think in general, um, the more kind of the younger, inexperienced team, they don't like to play in front of the enemy home crowd, right? Well, there's, there's two ways to do it, I guess. Like sometimes when you're playing in front of a crowd, you like just zone it out completely. Yeah, and you're just, sure, play, you're sure. just playing Dota. But when you're having a bad game or something's going wrong in a game, like you listen more and you, you're not as into the game because you're like, you're taken out because you're maybe not feeling it so much. But then hearing the crowd will get you back in, I think so. I mean, I'm sure that would make a great interview question for Jess later on to ask either the winning or losing team. True. But we're definitely not the people to ask us. I, I, we don't know. This is true. Yeah. Uh, we actually uh, can take a look at the players on stage because uh, we are at a live event, of course, and we can uh, take a look and start with basically unknown. And in the corner, it is again Earthshaker player. Extraordinary. I say Earthshaker, but didn't he play a magnificent Tide Hunter today? Yes, he did, yeah. Because he was solo lane against the Darkseer, so yeah. yeah, yeah, he was doing really well. Wouldn't mind seeing that Still one again. Manin. Man of Steel, not as I don't think he can hear us now, but he can't. Oh, uh, his, his disruptor the... earlier was really, really on point. He had to go for a Midas to try and counter yeah. the anti mage, but you know, to get that uh, Aghanims up, but it didn't really come off. We have a rise. I want to yeah. see Magnus from this game. I really want to see Magnus too because. Honestly, the way they play it, if they, the way they combo it up with their air shaker. It and was the completely ignored in that draft yeah. against Burner United. Maybe they're saying, okay, we don't, we don't open with Magnus. We're, we're, even if we lose this game, we're still in it, so we can save mm -hmm. it for later when, in our time of need. We got Nico Baby here. Yeah, he played uh, the gyrocopter yeah. previous game. Now, one of the things that actually is really interesting with uh, the two teams, as we are looking at uh, Pure Evil, who did play that ogre that you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, previous game, we said. Navi, if you want to win against Navi, you have to win in the first 10 minutes. 
What kind of phase of the game do you feel like these two teams will have to focus on their strengths on to try and, and win this? I honestly think it has a lot to do with what hero Jonasson fan plays. Okay. Like, if he gets his axe or clockwork, like a kind of aggressive hero and puts pressure on the safe lane of basically unknown. Well, speak of the devil. And uh, the home crowd is present once again. Indeed. Jonasson fan, he of course played the axe. Mm -hmm. in, uh, the first we, game. in that game, he didn't really get the space that he needed to get he going. Did not. He did end up getting a blink dagger. We just didn't have that much. Yeah, it, was, need, it was late, and it was. You need the momentum yeah, on that hero. He did. Limp. Limp. Great pup player, great like, yeah. track player. But to answer your question, it, it depends on what hero like they're picking. Yeah. Um, I seen Nip win game as we have him eating a banana. I'm sure that's <laughs> a gift now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they win game in 80 minutes. They win game in 40 minutes. Yeah, it really come down to what era draft. The captain, the drafter, one of the most experienced player, play with Fnatic for a long, long time. Yeah. The Bible dumps of the <laughs> past Fnatics are coming out. The new Fnatic That's looks true. pretty hot as well. That's true, actually. That's yeah. true. That is. Of course, Seal Kid. The poor guy, you can see it in his eyes. The, he just wants gold. Show, yeah. <laughs> just wants gold. He wants the gold that he could never have. He had a decent <laughs> amount of farm on his Witch Doctor, but uh, he didn't get it quick enough, I don't think. Is it me, or did we skip Hanskin? Isn't he, is he on the end? No, I think that... that no, nah, we just skipped him. I think Poor guy. I think... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, we, yeah. Who did we skip? Hansken. Hansken. Oh, okay, yeah. This is Hansken here. The glove. Carrie... Carrie... No. Carrie Payton? Gary Payton. Gary Payton. Who, Gary Payton. Who is Gary Payton? I don't know who that is either. You were mentioning some NBA basketball stars. No, I wasn't. I said Michael Jackson. I hope Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Gary, he, Gary Payton, one wow. of his nicknames is the glove because he was great at stealing the basketball. Ah. Still the glove. So, so maybe he wants to play Rubik. Yeah, I'm sure. He's like 45, but I'm sure he'll be like a, or actually like 50. No, Hanskin wants to play Rubik. Okay. Not now, the, uh, one thing that... Uh, <laughs> not the NBA player. <laughs> we're, just, we're just spelling it. <laughs> one thing that uh, constantly you haven't had the time to do, Shane, and I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully... Oh, do we get to open it today? To do, now you actually have the time to open it. Oh my god. Just gosh. in case. I swear, we'll talk more about the game afterwards, well, but well, now at least we'll have okay. the time to unpack I, I swear, it. this is the same gaming notebook PC. That was there like in season one. No, because uh, that one got given away. Yeah, they give them away. Lumi. It's the same box. No, because they actually give these away. The literal box. This no, no. literal uh, box. Was there this sticker on the box? At the no, back? like it has a seal on it. I don't know. It just. It was. Yeah. Sorry. Why are you opening it up? Because I, we got told to. Okay. Uh, uh, Smooth. That went okay. really well. So the reason I handed him this box is because uh, you can actually have a chance to win uh, this uh, gaming notebook PC. And uh, but oh, to do so, very light. yeah, it's light and sleek. To do so, you go to facebook.com/rognordic, where you put in your vote for your MVP of the Aces ROG Dream League Finals here at DreamHack Summer. I'll try and replace everything so I don't like completely screw it. I feel like you just devalue that laptop <laughs> I have. I don't know. What are you talking about? Me touching it adds at least oh, a euro wait, or two. Wait, make sure you have it like properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Shiver. Well, now know. they'll know if it's this literal laptop. <laughs> he can write a note on it as well if he wants okay. to. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Facebook.com slash RG Nordic. Now, if you want to win even more prizes, which is possible, do, 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 do. you go to <laughs> roc.gg slash DreamLeak, where you can fill in multiple things if you want, and win multiple prizes, rocket prizes, that is. So uh, make sure to check that out. Now, before we uh, jump into the draft, we just want to have quick predictions from you. What are we expecting? 2-1, 2 one, two yeah, one for I, who? Honestly, I think basically Unknown can do some cool stuff. If, okay. if, they, if they get the draft they want. But I still, think, predictions? I, I still think Nip have the advantage, and they're going to win 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. Yeah. What do you think? 2-0 Nip. 2 nip Well, we're going to find out which of these two gentlemen is right. It is time for us to go into the draft, and it is time to do that uh, with Odie Pixel and Cinderin here at the Aces RG Dream League.